gold miner's hair, man. Hey, I'm going to play a little game here. This video will be complete all the way to the end, but I want you to guess how much gold you think is in these rocks and the answer is at the end. So watch me do the specific gravity test and see how close you were on your guess. Eighteen pieces to do specific gravity on. Two hundred seven point eight six. This is number one. Number one. Number two. One fifty six thirty two. Number two. All right, let's double check the weight. Perfect. Now we connect it to the rubber bands. And suspend it. All right, 134.78. Ninety nine point seven five. All right, let's do some calculations. Two oh seven point eight six times one point nine equals three ninety four ninety three. 134.78 times 3.1, 417, 81, minus 394.93, 22.88, times 1.9 equals 297.8. Zero ninety nine point seven five times three point one three oh nine two two three oh nine point two two minus two ninety seven twelve point two two and eleven point four four times one point nine equals twenty one point seventy three. 8.19 times 3.1 equals 25.39 minus 21.73. 3.65. Now, let's see the total weight of all the gold. 22.88 plus 12.222. plus 3.65 equals 280 
0.20 grams of gold total. So Camo wants to know how you did, guessing how much gold there was. Hope you learned something from this. It's real basic. You weigh your specimen, your golden quartz specimen dry, and then you multiply that weight by 1.9, and then you suspend it in water as cold as you can get out of your tap, and whatever the weight is submerged, you multiply that by 3.1, it's going to be a bigger number than the dry weight multiplied by 1.9. So you just minus the lower weight from the heavier weight, and that gives you the approximate amount of gold in grams in your specimen. And that's assuming 85% purity. That's how this formula works. But it's close enough for all intents and purposes. Have a great day.